So in this video, we're going to choose a map from playrust.io forward slash gallery, and we are going to open it up in the Rust editor. So for this, we need our own server and you're lucky I made a tool. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how to set up your own server, I'm not going to go into any depth. I'm just going to show you how to make it work. So the ultimate um, server setup for Rust is linked in the video description. If you download that, you also need um, WinRAR or WinZip to unzip it. If you don't have that, go to rarlab.com, click on downloads on the left, and then click the 64-bit version probably. Or if that doesn't want to install, download the 32-bit version. If you have that installed, you can then uh, double-click on it and you should be able to see the files that are inside. So I'm going to make a new folder, right-click, new folder. I'm going to call that server. Um, make sure there are no spaces in the folder name. So if you, for example, do my server, do it like this and don't do it like this. Otherwise it might, uh, or it will probably download the files to the wrong folder. So just make sure there are no spaces in whatever name you use. Open up that folder. And we are going to drag everything into there. Then we are going to double click it and run my program. So step one, download the files. We want a normal server, so just click download server files. This should start up Steam CMD and it will also create a Steam CMD folder in here. It will update to the newest version of Steam CMD and it should automatically start downloading all the server files that we need to run a Rust server. So depending on your internet, this can take a while. If you get any errors during this download, double check if you have enough room on your hard disk. Um, otherwise you will get a error saying it doesn't exist, the package. It doesn't clearly say you don't have enough room or enough space on your hard disk. It just gives you an error. I don't know the exact error uh, from the top of my head, but if you get any errors during this download, just double check that, remove some stuff from your hard disk or change the folder to a different hard disk and run it from there. Once again, make sure there are no spaces in the directory. If you want to double check if you're running into any issues, go into the Steam CMD folder and there should be a update server Windows batch file. Right click that and click on edit. Here it says force installation directory and this is where it's trying to download the files. If there are any spaces, so for example, if I would have had this, it's going to only see this part. So it's going to create its own folder under C users M and it's going to download the files there. And when we later on create a start file, which we need to start up the server with the proper settings, it is going to put that in the proper folder and then it doesn't work because it needs to talk to each other and they're not in the same folder. So if you're running into issues, double check this and make sure that there are no spaces anywhere in this uh, link and then it should be good. While this is doing its thing, we are going to create our start file. We want to create a proc gen. We're going to ignore everything else. We are only, go only going to focus on the map size and the map seed. So let's go back to playrust.io and let's choose this island, for example. It says here map size is 2000 and it also says under here 2000 and the seed is one. If you want to, you can click on it and take, it, uh, take a look at it in greater detail or bigger picture, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is the map that I want to choose and open up. So I'm going to fill in map size 2000 and the seed number one. So let's go back to my program. Map size 2000. Map seed number one. And we are going to generate start file. And you can see here it says start your server. If we click on the little drop down, we can choose that and you could start it. But we have to make sure that this is all finished downloading first so i will be back when this is finished and it should say once it's done uh downloading uh downloading app successful and it should automatically close so once this closed i'll be back so this is done we can click on file locations and go to server files folder and there we should have the rust dedicated application and also the start file that we created should be in here so if you right click this and click edit, you will see that the 
world size is 2000 and the server seed is one just as how we put it into the program here so now if we double click this proc gen it will start up a server and once this is finished i'll be back once again depending on your hardware depending on your map size this can take a little bit just let it run and um there should be a message coming up and i'll be back when that message is here so once this is done uh, it should say the name that we put in here it should say schnitzel uh, wrongly spelled yes i know um if you didn't change it and once you got this screen you can basically close the server because it created the map file that we need and we not actually we don't actually need to join the server and get it from the client because the server already creates a dot map file for us so let's close the server down um, the proper way of doing it is type quit and press enter uh, that way you don't get the crash error etc if we then go into our folder there is a server identity that we set here called procgen if we go into server there should be a folder with that name whatever you put the identity and inside there there should be a dot map file so if we now go into rust edit and i'm just going to copy this location by just clicking on the icon by clicking on the icon and copying it so when back in rust edit we can click on load map select and then navigate to that folder and select the dot map file it's previously generated and it will say the size and seat click on load and this can take a little bit but it should load up and as you can see we got that map loaded into the rust editor so you can choose a map from playrust.io open it up in the editor make your changes um, you can even very easily remove everything and just use the topology or the layout of the island and make it your own and repaint it of course or do whatever you want with it and then run it on your own servers I will be showing how to run the server on your own testing server in a different video. Um, this one is long enough for now. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about how to drag in prefabs or monuments and get them into your map the most efficient way. So hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this beginners to advanced Rust edit course. There will be a link in the description to the playlist that has all the videos that are currently in the playlist available. And if I helped you out in any way, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm out. Peace.